Hey guys, it's Randy at Tech Rescue, and today I'm going to show you how to make a local user or a domain user without administrative privileges, how to make them into a local administrator. So let's get started. So sometimes you need to have a regular domain user. They need to have administrative rights to something on their computer. Maybe it's a program that they run sometimes. Maybe you want them to be able to install or uninstall certain things and so sometimes the need arises to be able to make uh, where you want to make a, um, a local user a uh, local administrator and it's actually quite simple um, so let me go ahead and uh, show you so right here um, we're logged in already as a user called uh, staff you can see that from right there so what you want to do is you want to open up a admin prompt and so if down in the bottom left down here in your, on your Windows uh, screen, bottom left, if you'll just do a right click, this pops up the secret uh, WinX menu. And you want to go ahead and either, it'll say right here, either uh, command, uh, command shell admin or, power, or PowerShell admin. So this one has PowerShell. I'm going to open up the PowerShell admin. And so this computer, I'm actually on a virtual machine and it is running uh, quite slow, so let's give it a second. So it's gonna ask for an administrative password. So uh, this is where you would put in your, uh, your domain administrator uh, credentials, or if you have a local administrator already credentials, you can put those in here. So let me go ahead and uh, put that in right here. All right, so this should be in the process of opening up, there we go, a uh, administrative, this is called a PowerShell, but it's the same thing, administrative command prompt or um, administrative PowerShell. Um, some of the commands are different between the two, but the commands on this are exactly the same. So we already have a user. The user is called staff. We're logged in as that user. And so what we want to do um, is run a command. It's called a net command. And so the command is net and then local group. So we're gonna we're we're saying we want to put something in the local group. Oops. So we're saying net local group administrators, and then we're gonna say staff, and then we're gonna say add. So you've got local group administrators. That's not gonna change. Then you have your username, and then you want to have a uh, slash add and it should come back and it will say that the command completed successfully. So you've added now staff um, to the local administrators group. Uh, so now to make it take effect, you're gonna need to log off. So, and remember when I opened up a command prompt before, it made me enter in credentials. So we're gonna log out. And this is gonna take a second. Hopefully your computer's faster than this. This is a virtual machine running running it on my Mac. All right, so I'm going to enter in the staff credentials and I'm going to log back in. Need to go for a coffee break on this on this guy. <laughs> so what happens is the the command <clears throat> needs for you to log off and then log back in. So when I logged off and logged back in, it applied the command that I did. And so now I should be able to go down to the bottom left and I should be able to right click. And when I say admin PowerShell, it should, it should pop up a yes or no as opposed to making me enter credentials. So let's go here, click on it, and see, boom. Um, that it's asking me, or am I sure that I want to open an admin PowerShell? I have local administrative rights. And I go ahead and say yes. And boom, that's it. So it's actually uh, really, really simple. I'll show you the command one more time. I don't need to enter it. We've already done it. Um, well, maybe I won't. Okay. Net local group administrators username slash add. All right. That's it. So appreciate you uh, watching uh, this video with me and I would encourage you to subscribe to our channel, 
like this video, um, if you appreciate the work that we did, and if you find it's useful to you. Also, if you have a question or a comment, put it down below and we will interact with you and help get you the answers that you need. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.